Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A very good morning to all uh, UITM uh, Swiss International College student. So <coughs> the subject uh, today is no business communication chapter 3 uh, report writing. So this is a learning objective uh, we already set for this subject. Uh, please focus on this learning objective lah. So what is a report? Uh, report a written factual account that objectively communicates information about some aspect of business. Uh, you can read all kind of reports. Yeah? Uh, a usually detailed account or statement of judicial legal opinion or decision. Uh, if the uh, report daripada the Mahkamah Court report, uh, then we call it report of the judicial uh, decision when the judge uh, give the judgment uh, then they write the report they call it uh, judge report that will be the judgment by the judge on the case yeah so a report gives informal information uh, number two ideas three uh, survey finding also it's a report you make survey yeah recommendation also a report uh, all this all this can uh, consider as a report let's uh, see more detail eh? what is the purpose of the report uh, to monitor and control operation so sometime your boss asks you to give when you work in future the boss said please give me a report on the situation of the case on the situation of the business uh, so the report is what the boss need is the monitor and control of the operation lah. to help implement policies and procedures uh, sometime in a company or in any organization uh, you need to implement policies policies and procedures so this policy and procedure need to be in a report form so that everybody can follow must be in a written form lah. documented must be in documented forms yeah cannot be in oral all must be in writing so everything in writing, then they call it a report. A company with legal legality requirement. Uh, this is like the all the agreement, everything. So this is will be legal document, written document. To document work performed for a client. Okay, you have complete a job for your business uh, opportunity. So you want to give a report to your client the job you have uh, completed for them. Uh, that report, that info, uh, information you have written will be a report. To guide decision on particular issue, same thing lah. You do report on uh, particular issue or to guide on particular issue. To obtain new business funding, uh, you want to borrow money from the bank for your business in future. The bank said, please give me business report. Please give me survey report on your market. All kind of thing. So any written submission in form of uh, information need for need that asked by any any parties that we are report to get product plans and project accepted by others. Uh, Sometimes you want to have a business, you want to get a partner for your business, or you want to sell your product to the other parties. So you need to prepare the report. What is your product is all about? And send to the other party. So if they agreed, uh, then then the business is on. Uh. So that kind of uh, written uh, information that you send will call it a report. So characteristics of good report. Uh, so what is the characteristic? You must be accurate. Don't bluff the report lah. Uh. So any information you want to put in a report must be substantiated with proof. Uh, so you cannot just uh, simply aga-aga. Uh, that one cannot. Any report not with full uh, information, uh, accredited information uh, cannot be a report. So any report must be accurate information. Uh, so number one. And then number two must be complete. The information cannot be halfway through. We call it half baked, setengah masa. Tak boleh lah. Mesti the information you want to put in a report must be complete. Masa punya. Uh. It's a complete report, not setengah masa. Uh, 
balance uh, sometimes you have to report balance what they mean here you have to give the positive and negative on the report let's say you want to see this project what you want to open the uh, shops what is the positive advantage uh, what the disadvantage uh, your competitor ke, or what kind of thing lah. so you must have a balance report that mean you have to give the report on the positive and also negative or we call it on the advantages and also the disadvantages clear and logical uh, so report must be very clear uh, cannot be clumsy report uh, and must be the report must be logic cannot say yeah just uh, this business uh, we start first year only we can make sale 10 million cannot be lah kan uh, so maybe it's logic maybe you said 1 million uh, to start the business so your report must be logic you put illogical report people will throw away your report in the basket dustbin it's wasting the time because they know that you are bluffing it's not logic at all and then the report must be documented properly eh? documented properly mean it must be have introduction must be have the body of the report must be in the recommendation the calculation so must be in a proper format of a report lah which you can learn later lah so characteristics of a good report uh, we already said just now lah i already mentioned everything <laughs> you just can read back lah yeah what i mentioned is the same thing lah, yeah Criteria of good report, source. Uh, okay. Who initiated them? Uh, so, where is your source of the report? Where you got the information? So, my information must be credible. If the information, information not credible, then the source that you get is uh, cannot be used. Yeah. Frequency, how often they are needed. Uh, so, report, so depend on how how often they need it. Some company need the report of the production daily, some weekly, some monthly. So this the criteria of the report, how frequency they need to, the report to be prepared. Target audience, where they are being sent. Are you going to send it to uh, people that you are going to market your product? Uh, say for example, you see people send leaflet, yeah, promotional product. Uh, so they will target which place which housing area they want to send the leaflet to promote their product. So you must see lah, target audience. There's another aspect you have to make your own survey way to, to promote your product. Length, how much detail contain. So can it be very long information? People don't read. They throw in a basket only. So you can see most people will uh, promote their product one page report with some pictures and information it cannot be, be all writing people also don't read yeah so intent whether they are designed so how you want to intend that the report need to be so that they design accordingly lah as I said just now maybe have a mixture of pictures and uh, written uh, information source okay voluntary report prepared on their own initiative, authorized report prepared on request of someone. So sometimes you want to sell your product or you want to ask a new business uh, loan. So you just uh, send your report lah, to the bank. This is what my report want to borrow 1 million loan. And then there's the authorized report. And then the bank will send back to you. I need you to give specific report on this one for your loan application. Uh, then you need to prepare an authorized report. Yeah, That's what they mean. Frequency, routine and periodic submitted to recurring badly basis. I already mentioned just now. Yeah. Special report present the result of specific one-time study investigation. Sometimes uh, not the routine one but special report. Uh, maybe say like COVID case. Uh, so like COVID case now, how that you affect your marketing uh, uh, activities. Uh, so there's special report on one particular problem during the COVID matter only lah yeah length uh, okay long report exam long report examining problem in detail require extensive research and preparation uh, this one long report you need to do survey you need to see to do interview you need to give sample of the product uh, so you need a very long report if they need asked by the company or by anybody 
short report may discuss just one part of the problem and not require for more report okay sometimes the boss said give me a short report uh, or in call it initial report lah uh, initial report on this problem uh, from there then later maybe maybe uh, they will ask you for the long report or they may will solve it with a short report so that's how it works target audience uh, internal report for use organization so if internal report then that means the target audience only for the staff only in that particular organization external report for use outside organization yeah uh, for for other people for example you want to borrow from a bank uh, so you send the report to the bank so that is external report lah. intent information report focus on the fact and intended mainly to explain or to educate readers offering information but no analysis or recommendation uh, so initial report you want to educate the, the, the people on the product that you want to sell uh, so we call it just like information report only lah. we call it for the intent report Analytical uh, report designed to solve the problem by convincing readers that the conclusion recommendation reached are justified by based on data analysis and interpretation. So analytical report is more detailed and in-depth study that you have to do to make the report. Sometimes you have to do survey, you have to do interviews, you have to send sample, all kind of uh, uh, things that you need to do to get the analytical report. Yeah, it's more detailed kind of a report. Okay, format of an analytical report. Okay, so uh, this is the sample lah. If you want to do a uh, analytical report, uh, the front page you must have the title of the report, letter of transmitter. I mean, letter covering letter lah, and then you have the table content indicate the outline from the coverage sequence and relative importance of information report. And then you have the executive summary, or we call it brief overview of the reports. Uh, the most important one. Because before the boss read the whole detailed report, they want the executive summary. Uh, once you read the executive summary, then if you feel it, you want to know further, they can read the detailed report. Otherwise, maybe they can uh, make decision from the, the bosses can make decision from the executive summary you have done. That means the exit summary is from the detailed report that you have you have already submitted. Yeah. Uh, so format of analytical report introduction. Uh, so what you have to do? Let's see. You want to do the boss asks to have give you an, an analytical report. So one first you have the first topic chapter or first part the introduction. Uh, so the introduction you have to. Write down the background of problem or issue, whatever the report is all about. Lah. Let's say the boss asks you to have a report on the uh, decline of sales of your product for the last three months. Uh, so you have to do the background of problem or issues. For example, maybe like now, uh, quite easy lah, because of the COVID, for example. Huh? Uh, then from the COVID, what happened? Uh, provide some background information to the company or series of events that show problem. COVID. From COVID, what happened? Uh, purpose. Uh, what is the objective, aim, or goal, the mission? As it is just now, the purpose, for example, is uh, to find out why your product uh, for the last three months uh, the sale was declining. For example, yeah. Scope. The exact coverage of the problem. Uh, so the exact coverage of the problem in this situation is your uh, market market sale has gone down, shrinkage. Yeah. Sudah berkurangan. Method of investigation, uh, how and where you obtain information. Uh, so let's say your product sale in which area? Kuala Lumpur or Seremban, where is the main target Target area is your product sales before. Uh, so you do the investigation in that particular place. Lah. Don't go to other place that is not uh, related to the product you sell before. Okay. And then finding analysis. Yeah. So after uh, you make your survey, make your report, make your interview, and then you do your own data analysis, result, statistic, uh, what's the report on uh, an observation of the, the problem, all that kind of thing. So that is your finding analysis. Then the last part will be the conclusion. Summarize the result and draw your conclusion. So you have summarized just now from the analysis that you have. And you come up with the conclusion of your finding and result. Could be opinion based on fact, comparison of viewpoint. So whatever way you want to put your conclusion, 
It's up to you. And then after that, what is your recommendation to address the problem issues? For example, just now, oh, this uh, marketing has gone down because of this COVID uh, situation. So what is your recommendation? For example, lah, yeah. Uh, this is your sample. Lah. I'm not talking how to resolve the problem. Eh? Comment of uh, uh, NLT report. Uh, then, yeah, yeah, this continue. Lah. Then uh, the last part after your recommendation, then you put your reference, uh, references from the report. Where you got certain information from this reference, from that reference, for your survey, from the information that you get from the book, you get information from other report. Uh, so, you put your references so that uh, sometimes you don't have to to do all the, the survey because the survey done by somebody else already so you take that survey input your report uh, and then you put that as a reference yeah that's what is references or bibliography either way lah. A report always contain information taken secondary sources uh, these sources you take from others from journal from other report so we call it secondary sources that report you prepare your own that is what that we call it primary sources. So other reference you use, they call it that as a secondary sources. Yeah. So your sources should include. Uh, so if you quote a source from a book, uh, then you should put the name of author of the book, year of publication, title of the book, article or journal, name of publisher, and place of publication. This will be written in the last uh, part where you put a reference. Let's say you put a reference, you take this from the report from the book, uh, then you write down uh, the book, uh, name, author, kind of things. You can just uh, easy, you just go to the Google, just take example of a report. Uh, you can see uh, same structure that uh, I'm uh, teaching you now, then easy for you to understand. Okay. Okay, uh, reference, two commonly known reference style. So this is all using APA, MLA. Is uh, uh, the formation only lah. No, no, not much of uh, problem. It's in in here in Malaysia, normally we use the APA formatting. Simple lah. Like, yeah, Malaysia we use APA formatting, but other country they also use MLA. Yeah, MLA. Appendix questionnaire, sample article, newspaper cutting, and if you still other the reference, you have other questionnaire. Just now you do a phone survey, then you also can put in your. Know, Questionnaire in the report. What do you really ask during a survey? Uh, sample of uh, article, you also can put in the sample article related to your uh, survey. Or any newspaper cutting, everything, uh, or picture, to support your report. Uh, that you that already has uh, been done by somebody else, you just take this sample article, put in your report. So, that will save you time to do the uh, search, uh, research, or the survey because it's done by somebody else. So that's how we prepare the report. Yeah. So report writing, uh, the the fourth stage. Okay, the move one. They said uh, you do it. You're planning and gathering data. You plan lah. Uh, just now we have a template. The planning introduction, all that kind of thing, including uh, the body of the thing, including to the recommendation, analyze conclusion. Uh, that one is the planning. So once you have the planning, then you gather the information, data. How to do it? You can do it survey, you can do it, you can get it just now from books, you can get it from article, you can get it from other people report, uh, that one you get the, the data for the info that you need for your report. Uh, selecting information, uh, okay lah, you select all the information, then you do the outlining, the outline of your report. Uh, then you do the report itself. Uh, uh, draft first. Uh, you draft first. After drafting, then you revise the report. Yeah. That's how you you do the planning for the report. <clears throat> Define the problem. Limit problem definition to realistic assessment. Assess the problem with six uh, W: what, where, why, when, who, and how. Uh, so this is the question you ask during your uh, data gathering. Conducting research, uh, what do I need? Where can I get? Primary data, I already explained to you. Questionnaire, interview, observation, experiment. That is, is you have to do your own. Secondary data, uh, as I said just now, you can get it from book, journal, newspaper, internet, website, or other people. Report, report already that you can use 
which is similar to the information you need in your supposed to be in your primary data so it's already done so you use this secondary data to put in your report so you don't need to do again the, the question and do, do again all the information which is already done you can get it from the secondary data it's not date eh? date is wrong eh? actually secondary data first one is primary data the other one is secondary data not date eh? analyzing the data the word analysis mean to look uh, at the part of things separately in relationship with the whole okay the various part of your information are compared and contrast in effort to develop ideas so you have your information you have to compare with other information same information and contrast it so this process we call it analyzing the data your data and other people data and then you come up with facts and figures that are interpreted by explaining what you mean in your data that you in or in data in your report yeah? preparing outline okay so preparing ideas in a logical order uh, serve as a guide in writing report keep on focus on the main topic yeah you don't uh, uh, make so much of a report on so wide topic you just go to the specific problem specific topic talk about marketing just talk about marketing problem you don't talk about production problem you don't talk about procurement raw material problem you don't talk about human resources problem and then the report can never ending story yeah it can be months years you cannot you cannot complete a report on a particular problem enables you to spot structural mistakes such as planning some ideas fully uh, so once you do the preparation you do the analyze then you may find uh, mistake here and there in your report that you can delete it and add, add on or correct it lah. permits checking of relationship between all parts of the report sure you need to check and double check so that be a continuous uh, information they cannot be segmented yeah or segregated it must be fluently uh, understood when you read yeah you cannot talk one part of the story here the other part the story next paragraph uh, roja kind of information in the report uh, that is not a report that is roja you better go eat roja verifies that conclusion and recommendation are supported uh, so when you have the report you have the analyze you have to compare and contrast with others then you verify your information then you draw your own conclusion uh, you draw your own conclusion on the problem then you make recommendation uh, to your boss and, uh, and to, to support the recommendation to the boss uh. then serve as a detailed table of content then will be uh, how to to structure then you tabulate your report according to the content Conclusion recommendation uh, based on your analysis, you can offer solution or solution to the problem that you have researched. For example, just now the COVID problem. Lah. Conclusion is inference done from the fact of your analysis. Uh, inference that means you from your conclusion is from the report. Lah. You infer the conclusion from the report or the research or the analysis that you have done. That's what the conclusion. The conclusion comes from the inference drawn from the your analysis and the fact that you get that based on your conclusion you should state the recommendation uh, or research solution yeah so based on your conclusion the next step you need to prepare recommendation conclusion is not completed yet you need to uh, make your own recommendation because the boss asks you to give the report so you uh, working for a boss you need to make your recommendation or solution to the boss right or wrong is separate matter the conclusion and the recommendation must be based on the finding and the objective analysis. For sure, all this your conclusion and recommendation must be based, back up, lah, back up from the data analysis and the report that you have gathered uh, and, uh, and uh, gathered and already uh, do the uh, analyze and uh, all the process of uh, reporting. Okay, my student. Student, uh, okay, the summary for today. Learn, we have already teach you. Learn the dimension of report. Uh, apa itu report? <laughs> so, many kind of report. The purpose and the characteristic of good report. Uh, good report. The data must be correct. 
tak boleh temperang, bluffing data, uh, then the report is bad, not good report. Uh, learn the types of report. Uh, okay, we already give you those types of report that need to be done. Many types of report. Uh, marketing report, sales report, uh, all kind of report. Learning the pro writing process. Uh, we already give you how the structure, introduction, uh, and then the body of the report, and then uh, analyze, then uh, conclusion, recommendation, uh, then the references, uh, and all the other uh, appendices that you need to prepare uh, in a report. Uh, it does, does not complete just the report, but all the other information, the appendices, your reference, everything also must be in the report. Learn the component of a formal report. Uh, this the same thing lah. What I mentioned. Present oral presentation. Uh, basically, sometimes uh, the report can be writing, but sometimes the boss will say, that, "Okay, you prepare the report, and then you said now after this you come and see me, you give the presentation orally from the report. Uh, can happen also. Yeah. Uh, so then you have to be ready. One, you need a proper writing written report. The other one, you must be good also in uh, presentation on our report. Some people, they're good in reporting, but very bad in oral presentation. So you need to be careful. You need to practice yourself. Otherwise, your report is damn good. Yeah. 3A, AAA report, very good. But your presentation is lousy. You don't know how to present it properly. Uh, so the good report can be become a bad report. So this is... Very important to note. So you need to be uh, professional in your writing and also your oral presentation. This is my advice. Lah. If you want to work with any uh, company before or, or anything, sure, you need to be good in these two things. Not only written, but also oral presentation. Yeah. So thank you very much. We will continue to discuss this with the lecture in the class. And uh, anything that you can email or WhatsApp me, that also can uh, give you the explanation. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.